Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be creating the memory spread for my Christmas week, which is from December 23rd through December 29th. And this is going to be my last holiday spread, which I feel like is really bittersweet because I know um, we are well past the holidays and I feel like everyone's ready to move on. Um, but I just personally love Christmas kits and Christmas spreads. And so um, I'm just, you know, kind of relishing this last one here for 2019. And um, for this week, I have this kit from Saucy Stickers Co. This is my first time using a kit from her shop and I gotta say the quality is really great. I kind of took a look at all of the foiling and everything looks really nice. So I can't wait to purchase from her shop again. Um, so in moving on really quick, I wanna show you guys what's in the kit. We have nine full boxes here and three quarter boxes at the bottom. This is the only non-foiled page of the kit and we've got the um, icons, text stickers, build do stickers, sidebar stuff. We have some heart check flags, regular flags and a movie marquee. This page is foiled, so we've got the foiled headers, we have some um, half boxes and quarter boxes, and the last page here has the foiled bottom washi and date covers. We've got some washi strips, some three heart checklists, and then a few headers here. Um, so yeah, that is the kit I'll be working with this week. I'm pretty sure this was a mini kit format, so I do believe she offers more pages to her kits if you would like um, to have more things included. And um, yeah, without further ado, I wanna go ahead and start by placing down my bottom washi, and I will build the spread from there. For this week, I decided to white out the bolder lines of the bottom washi section because the washi that was included in the kit has a white background, and so I just didn't want any of those bolder lines to peek through. So once I'm done whiting out, I go ahead and place down the two strips of bottom washi. I really like the bow strip that she included. It's very thin and dainty, and I think it works perfectly with this kit. Um, then moving on to my sidebar, I first put down the quote box in the top corner. This one says Merry and Bright, which is perfect for Christmas. I then used a foiled header from the kit with a habit tracker to track my working out. And initially I wrote in workout on the header part, but I realized that there was this really cute workout text sticker that came with the kit, so I decided to use that instead. I then pulled in a quarter box with this Monday through Sunday box to track my happy moments. And then I pulled in another quarter box with the second Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners for the week. To fill up the remaining space, I pulled in another foiled header from the kit, and for my headers this week, I decided to use this gold foiled heart from Nikki Plus 3 to mark my happy moments, and then this utensil sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark my dinners. I then move on to placing down the date covers for this spread, and I love the font that she chose to use for the date covers. I felt like it matched really nicely, and um, I don't know, it was just like super beautiful for this spread. And then I also pulled in these little date dots from, I think those are from Simply Watercolor Co. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and move to Monday. I started my winter break this week, so I did not have work. Um, the first thing I put down is a foiled header, and then I used a quarter box with this rainy cloud sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that Monday was a very rainy day. I did have a car service appointment early in the morning, so to mark that, I used this flag with a car sticker that came in the kit. I dropped off my car and then my boyfriend took me back home because it was going to take a while. And then on Monday, um, a friend of mine had slept over the night before and she was heading back home on Monday. So we grabbed some breakfast at a Hawaiian place. It was super good. And then we said goodbye. So to mark that, I used a half box with this gold foiled heart from Hazel Sticker. I then had quite a few things to do, so I used this three heart checklist that came with the kit, and I love how those lines are a little bit thinner so it doesn't take up that much space. I put down some things that I did on Monday, and then I also pulled in this TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. In the white space, I used a beer sticker from Artbox Stickers. I don't really know if she sells those anymore though because I think she's transitioned to um, foiled stickers only, but I still had those from quite a while ago and I love to pull them in. So anyways, I use that to mark that my boyfriend and I went to happy hour while waiting for my car service to be finished. And then at the end of the night, I had to wrap my Christmas presents. So I used this gold foiled checkbox sticker from Samantha May Sticks and just wrote that on top of the full box. On Tuesday, I first put down a half box at the top, and then I pulled in this Christmas Eve text sticker from Chic Blossom Prints. I love her font. It's so pretty and dainty, and um, I used that just to mark that Tuesday was Christmas Eve, of course. Then I used a quarter box with this emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I woke up feeling really sick on that day. Unfortunately, it was just kind of poor timing, but we were heading home to my boyfriend's family's house that day, so I used a car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark our drive. 
I used a full box underneath that, and then I put down another foiled header with this quarter box, um, and I pulled in this tea sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I had some tea with honey. Um, it definitely helped with my sore throat, so that's something I always like to have when I'm feeling sick. And then that night, we decided to teach my boyfriend's parents how to play Mahjong, which was really fun. It's like my favorite game, um, but I usually play it with my parents, so it was really fun getting to introduce it to my boyfriend's parents as well. Um, the Mahjong sticker that I used is from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, we went and took a little drive to see all the Christmas lights around the neighborhood. So I decided to use this little foiled sticker um, that came in a sampler. And unfortunately, I don't remember which shop that is from. That was it for my Christmas Eve, so I go ahead and move on to Wednesday, which was Christmas. I put down this full box at the top, and I really like that one because it has like a mini Christmas tree, and I think it's so cute and perfect for marking Christmas Day. Then underneath that, I put down a foiled header with this half box and used the Christmas Day script sticker from Chic Blossom Prints again to mark that Wednesday was Christmas. Um, with my boyfriend's parents, we always like to have some cinnamon rolls in the morning and then open all our presents. So to mark that, I used this gold foiled heart from Clever Gal crafts. I then put down a couple boxes at the bottom to see how much space I had left to mark what I wanted. And um, so in the remaining space, I used that little sleepy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I took a quick nap because I was still feeling pretty sick on that day. And then on the half box, I put down this family time sticker that came in the kit to mark that we had our Christmas lunch. Uh, my boyfriend's parents were hosting Christmas this year. And so the extended family came over to celebrate and it's always super nice to see them and get to catch up with them. Um, then on the quarter box, I just marked that we did some puzzles that night. I love doing puzzles. I don't do them very often, but I really, really enjoy them. And I decided to use this gold foiled paperclip bow sticker. And that is from Artbox Stickers. On Thursday, I started by placing down a foiled header at the top, and then I used this pillow sticker from Artbox Stickers. It's so pretty, I just got those, and I absolutely love them. But anyways, I used that to mark that I had a pretty lazy day on Thursday, which is always a wonderful thing when you're sick. Um, then I put down a strip of washi, and I pulled in this tea sticker from Love Shira, and the text was actually on the right-hand side of the icon, but I wanted it to be flipped around because of how I had written lazy day on the right-hand side. And so I just go ahead and cut those apart and then place them on the side that I wanted. I then put down a quarter box with this smiling Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I did more puzzling on that day. Um, we had this Yoda puzzle that had like a thousand pieces and everything was like the same color so it was pretty difficult and took quite a while. I then moved to the bottom and first placed down a half box to save that space for something I wanted to mark and above that I used a full box and then in the remaining space I used this flag sticker with a YouTube binge gold foiled script from Randy dot plans to mark that I watch YouTube for quite some time on Thursday and the laptop sticker I pulled in is from Nicole Hutch Designs. On the half box at the bottom, I marked that we went over to one of our friend's places and we did friends miss, which was really nice. And we got to see some friends that we haven't seen in a while. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much all we did for the evening. And then moving on to Friday, first I put down a quarter box at the top. The sleep in text sticker is from Paper and Milk and I pulled in this little sleeping mask sticker, but um, I actually can't remember which shop that's from. So I'm super sorry, but I will definitely link all the shops that I use down below. I then used a half box with this beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we went to a brewery. Um, my boyfriend's aunt and uncle came over, so we all decided to go grab some beers together. And then I decided to switch around the placement of the half box and the full box. So I go ahead and place the full box on top and the half box underneath that. I put down the sandwich and soup sticker from Plans with Finesse to mark that we had some soup while we were at the brewery. We just picked it up at the spot next door and it was legitly the best soup I've ever had in my life. It was a pulled pork chili verde soup and it was amazing. I like wish I could somehow recreate it, but I haven't really found a recipe for exactly that item. Um, there are some similar ones, so I might go ahead and try those out. I then placed down a quarter box with this gold foil today script sticker that's from Artbox Stickers and I cut down a checklist into four hearts so that I can mark some things that we did later that day. We basically did a game night so we played a few games and I made some Brussels sprouts as well for dinner because they're always quite a hit and then our friend came over and played some games with us as well. So to mark all of that I decided to use this game sticker from Hazel Sticker. 
For Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom before moving back to the top. So the first thing I put down on Saturday is this half box and this tea time sticker, I believe is from MJ and Hope. And I use that to mark that I had some tea and then did some more puzzling on that morning. Um, I decided not to use a weekend banner for this week because I was on winter break. And so honestly, every day felt like the weekend and I didn't really feel a need to mark that specifically. But anyways, underneath that, I used a foiled header with a quarter box. Again, that checkbox sticker is from Samantha May Sticks and I use that to mark that we packed up and then we drove home. The car sticker is from Nicole Hutch Designs. It's the same one that I use on Tuesday and definitely my favorite car icon. Um, and then I go ahead and lay down some functional stickers to mark how much space I had left. Because there was some extra space I didn't need, I pulled in this bow divider from Samantha May Sticks and I absolutely love those but I often forget that I have them so I rarely pull them in. I switched out the car sticker for a different color because I felt like there was too much red in that little section. And then um, next to the flag, I marked that a couple of our friends came over. Um, they live out of town, so it was really good to see them. And we just kind of hung out and caught up on life. And then on the quarter box, I marked that we watched The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is one of our favorite shows. So I also pulled in this gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. On Sunday, I first started by placing down an important header at the top. I used the other three heart checklists from the kit to mark that I did um, some cleaning and then also a voiceover. Because I did some dishes, I pulled in this dishes sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that. And then underneath that, I used this gold foiled post-it sticker also from Hazel Sticker to mark that a couple of our friends came over and we played um, this board game. It was the second season of the Pandemic Legacy, I believe is what it's called. And it's super fun. It's definitely one of our favorite cooperative um, legacy board games so it does take quite a while to finish and this was like part one of four um, that board game sticker I pulled in is from Sunset Sticker Co but I'm not quite sure if she's still open I then put down a full box and because there's a lot of space at the top of that box, I pulled in this Cheers to Beer sticker from Love Shira um, because usually when we play games, we also tend to snack and try a lot of different beers. So it's usually really fun. Um, then for the rest of the day, I actually put down a half box at the very bottom and then I had a ton of empty space and really nothing to mark. So I decided to put down this foiled header with a bill due sticker. Um, my credit card bill was due around this time, but I didn't actually pay it off on Sunday. It was just a way for me to take up more space on the day. On the half box, I put down this TV emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we watched the new Terrace House that came out. Um, it's definitely one of our favorite shows. We pretty much binge it every time there's like a new part that comes out. Um, so anyways, that was a really great way to end the week. And now I'm just moving back to my sidebar to track all my happy moments and my dinners. I did not do any workouts this week, partly because I was sick, but also because I just haven't really been working out like the latter half of 2019. Um, so anyways, once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you all the stickers that I have left in this kit. I do a viv wiggle to show you all the foiling as a whole and then I go ahead and do a walkthrough of the spread so that you can see more of the foiling and the details on each day. I absolutely love how this turned out and I'm so happy that I saved this kit for my Christmas week. I had a really hard time deciding which kit I wanted to use for Christmas because I loved all the ones that I got this year, um, but I'm really happy I went with this one because I feel like it has the most traditional Christmas colors with that bright red and the green. Um, and yeah, I think it just turned out overall so beautiful and so festive. So anyways, I'm really happy about that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this as well. And um, I actually just remembered that I wanted to make this video a giveaway because I've accumulated quite a huge stash of leftover stickers. Um, so if you would like to enter this giveaway and possibly win some leftover stickers, um, go ahead and leave a comment down below. You can just say something like giveaway or giveaway entry, just so that I know that your um, comment is an entry because I know not everybody wants to enter. I will leave the contest going up for about a week as I usually do. So hopefully that gives everyone plenty of time to get around to watching my video. I will leave all the details of the giveaway in the description box below, so make sure you go and check there if you have any questions. That is it for today's spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the last of my 2019 spreads because next week will be the start of 2020. And yeah, thank you all so, so much for supporting me and for joining me every week. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.